So you're thinking about selling your home on your own. And why not? You'll save a bunch of money and how hard could it be? We'll stick around and we'll discuss what's involved and then you can make an informed decision. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Susan McGarry and I am with Coldwell Banker Capital Gateway Realty here in beautiful Solano County. So you're thinking about FSBO, for sale by owner. You figure how hard could it be and you could save a bunch of money, right? Well, all right then, let's go over the process. First, you're gonna need some pictures and please don't tell me you're going to use your cell phone for this. Just look on the internet at all the homes for sale and you can spot the ones that the pictures have been taken with a cell phone. Very obvious. And buyers out there, they can tell the difference too. And that is a representation of your home. So what you're going to need is a professional real estate photographer. And how are you going to find one of these? Well, if you work with a realtor, they have at least one or two of these on speed dial. And these professional photographers know they're working with a professional and that this home will be ready for them when they come to take the photos. When you hire a realtor, you don't pay them up front. So the fee for that photographer comes out of their pocket and they get paid back when the house sells out of their commission. Okay, next is advertising. And I hope Facebook isn't your number one choice for advertising or putting a sign in your yard and hoping someone drives by and sees the sign. Now both of these are a good part of an advertising campaign, but they shouldn't be the only thing you use. If you hire a realtor, they belong to the MLS and they're able to put it on the MLS system and have it exposed to all the other real estate professionals and all the homeowners out there who are looking for a home. So you will get maximum exposure. So next, let's talk about showing your home. Do you plan on letting strangers in your house? people you don't know anything about, you don't even know if they've been pre-qualified for a loan for your house. Well, if you have a realtor, that's something they do for you. And nowadays we have digital lock boxes. So every time a real estate professional goes into that house with clients, it's done digitally on an app and the real estate agent that you have hired gets notified. They know every time someone goes in and they know how long they stayed. Well, let's say you made it all this way on your own and now you get an offer. Are you familiar enough with the contracts to know everything you need to know to make sure you are getting the best deal possible? And that purchase contract is about 10 pages long. That's 10 pages written by lawyers. Now, wouldn't you rather have a real estate professional by your side to walk you through this contract to make sure that you are getting the best offer possible? And as long as we're talking about offers, let's talk about negotiating. This is something that real estate professionals do every day. We negotiate not only purchases, sales, showings, we negotiate all day long. That's what we do. We know the nuances of the real estate industry. Wouldn't you rather somebody who makes it their life to know the negotiating process of this industry? And so now you're thinking, well, when someone brings me an offer, they'll have a real estate agent and they'll walk me through this contract. Well, there's a couple of problems with that. A real estate agent is not going to want to bring you an offer unless they are compensated. And that is traditionally done by the seller. The seller sells the home, pays the commission to both agents. If you're not going to compensate them, they're not going to want to bring a client to you. So you're going to have to pay them a commission. So you're paying a commission to the buyer's agent to represent them. They still don't represent you. So they won't guide you through the paperwork. The escrow company won't guide you through the paperwork. It is up to you to go to, through that paperwork and know what you're doing or have a professional by your side to do it with you. Okay, so let's say you've made it this far and you're still okay with everything. What about disclosures? Do you know what disclosures you're required to fill out? How to fill them out? Which ones you need to give the buyer? Which ones the buyer is supposed to give to you? All of these are very important, and if they're not done properly or in the timely fashion, it could cost you money, not only through the deal, but in court later. So when you have a realtor who represents you, you have someone who will guide you through this process. Okay, so let's talk about price. How much experience do you have pricing homes? Well, I'm guessing this is your first shot at it. 
Is this really where you want to start your training? By guessing and using a couple of online resources? Wouldn't you rather have an expert? Someone who makes it their life? So, do you still think it's easy? Do you still want to give it a try on your own? I hope not. I hope I've given you enough information so that you understand the importance of having a professional by your side through this process. This could be probably the biggest financial decision of your life. Wouldn't you rather have a professional guiding you through it? Of course, I'd love it if you hired me, but it doesn't have to be me. I want to stress the importance of I don't want you doing this on your own unless you are competent and prepared for this. So hire somebody. Hire a real estate professional, preferably a realtor, to represent you during this whole process. Someone you know, like, and trust. Then you'll make me happy. All right, thanks for watching. Now I think this is one of the most important videos that I've ever done. And the motivation for me to do this video was an article I saw. It was in a major publication for seniors and they talked about selling your home alone. Unfortunately this article never mentioned any of the pitfalls and possibly ending up in litigation over it. I think that was a big disservice that they're doing to anyone who reads this article. I hope you're more informed and understand the importance of having a professional by your side for something like this.